All right, thing of the day. Um, this is another one of those uh, single voltage in, double voltage out. So I had ordered a um, 5 volt in, uh, plus or minus 12 volts out. Um, and this one uses uh, three inductors, so it, it should be nice and beefy and a, a better solution than the other ones I was showing. So I really liked it. So when it arrived in the mail, it was marked 5 volts. And I thought, oh, no, I think they think they shipped me the wrong one. But this is a... Um, Made in China, Ella Texup DD1912PA. Okay, so let's hook it up and measure it and see if my fears are correct. All right, I've got uh, five volts here, and let's uh, put it on the input. And we will measure measure the input. It's measuring 5.08, and the output is, yeah, 5 and minus 5, minus 5.3, hmm, 5 and 5.3. Probably have to load it down, but, all right, anyway, it's the wrong kind, right? It's the wrong kind. I thought, oh, well, should I tell the, tell the guy to send me the right one, or should I just fix it? <laughs> oh, so, um... Before I get rid of my meter, let me uh, kind of show you what, what goes on in these things. I think I've showed this a bazillion times before. Um, so this chip probably has a 1.25 volt reference, so we will check that. Um, we will come down over here, measure a voltage. and Yeah, there's a 1.24 volts right there. Uh, there's a voltage divider, so the, in, the output is this voltage, which is the 5.09. And then it goes into a, a divider string to give you that 1.25, okay? So this is what's in there, a 6.2K and a 2K. So if I um, take a 2 and 8.2 and uh, I divide that by <clears throat> 1.25, I get 5.125. <clears throat> so 5.125 is what this is set up to uh, regulate to. Sorry, I've um, got a tickle in my throat today. So I said, what would it take to give me 12 volts out, which is what I wanted. And I did the calculations. Um, I said, okay, 1.25 is a certain current, and that current is in the string, and then you can do the math, and you come up with 17.2K. So 17.2K. So you can do this as a homework, okay? Figure out that 17.2K there, okay? So I want to replace this uh, 6.2K with a 17.2K. Sorry, it looks like a 19, but that's a 17. So I looked in my box, and all I have is a 20K and a 15K. <clears throat> Let's see what happens at 15K. <clears throat> Jeez. So 2... 15K would be 17, and would get uh, 6.8, oh, oh, it only goes up to 6.8, that's not good. Let's try 20, wait a minute, that's not right. Hmm, what did I say, 15? 2, 17. Oh, there we go, 10.63. I, I must have typed it wrong. It would give me 10.6. .10 that's not too good. Let's try, next one I have is 20K. Let's try a 20K. 2 and 22 and 1.25. It's 13.75. That's a good one. I like that one. Now, I could take two 33s and put them in parallel, and that would give me 16.5. And 16.5, so we had 2 and uh, 18.5 and 1.25. We would get 11.56. So I like the I like the 2K, the 20K. So I will replace the uh, 6.2 with a 20K and see if my little thing has been converted. All right, let's see if we can uh, heat this thing up and get it out of there. Some tweezers to poke at it. Uh, let me stick some solder on it so it's. Uh, I'll use some low, 
Maybe I can use some low temp solder. Yeah. Probably doesn't matter for this. I'm going to put some lead on it though. I like lead solder. Okay, let's uh, let's poke at it here. I tried to get those sides hot. And there we go. Popped off. So now we have somewhere to put our new 20K. Can you see this? Uh, all right, so it's right there. Let me get a 20K. And put them right side up so I can read them. So he's going to go right there. And I am going to hold him if I can with my shaky hands. And I am going to try to tack him down on, oh, try to tack him down on this side, which he flew up in the air. Eh, he's not cooperating, damn it. Uh, let me grab, there we go. Now if I can push him down. There, oh, oh, shoot. These are so hard to do. I wish I had, uh, I wish I had tweezers. Oh, well, he's in there crooked, but I know I can make him work. Because I can just put a blob of solder on both sides. Put a blob of solder on this side. And a blob of solder on this side. And that looks like hell. But, I think, I think he's going to work. Let me see. Nope. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. All right. You guys are in the way. I'm sorry. You can't watch. <laughs> you can't watch. All right, this is looking better. Everything is in the way. Got a little blob of solder on that side. There, that one looks good. That one looks good. All right, I like that. I believe that will work. So let's give them a try, say. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to keep my hands out of the way. Measure this side, 13.6, about this side over here. Minus 13.8, excellent, done. That's the only difference between the two, I'm sure. And the current capability, which they kind of hide from you. There we go. I hope that made sense. Uh, You have to make sure that the uh, capacitors they use can handle that voltage. So these are, the output are 35. In fact, every single capacitor on here is 35 volts. So we are in good shape. Oh, how about the little ones? I did not look at the little ones. I gotta look at the little ones. Little ones are, little ones are, I can't read them yet. Little ones are, geez, they're hidden. Uh. Uh, I can't read the little ones. Oh, there we go. There's a, there's a spot. 47 microfarads at 50 volts. Wow. Okay. So we are good to go. All right. That was thing of the day. Five volts in plus or minus 13.6 out. <laughs> and, uh, this is a DD1912PA. Comes in lots of different versions. 5, 6, 9, 10, 12, 15, 18, and 24. There you go.